Ye by Kanye West. 2018 hasn't been the best year for Kanye West. In the midst of working on albums for Pusher T, Nas, Tiana Taylor, himself, and himself and Cuddy, he has had a lot of people turn against him, whether it was his TMZ interview or his random tweets. Kanye West has finally released his latest album, Ye. Can he redeem himself for the past few weeks? How do we feel about Ye by Kanye West? Ye by Kanye West. I know some people watching this like, y'all niggas said y'all wasn't going to do it. <laughs> well, here we are. Well, here we are. And uh, man, did I think this was going to be some straight bullshit. When I first started listening to it, mm -hmm. I was just like, man, this, this, this better be good. I don't want to hear no Trump shit and none of that. But surprisingly, you didn't hear any of that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I thought about killing myself. It, to me, it came off as him talking to his bipolar self. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty much how I took it. The music behind it sounds amazing. The humming, you know what I'm saying? Using the Kid Cudi style of, of humming. There's rumors this weekend on this song. We don't hear it. We tried. We didn't hear them. Nah. <sighs> Uh, Yikes came on and like I said, like he, he continues to play well on the music. Great hook, great melody for the hook. You know, I could have did without the talking, you know, because, you know, I don't know if you know this yet, but your bitch would leave you if she had a shot with Ye. I don't, you know, just ask them. They'll tell you. I mean, that's what he said, right? That's what he said. Keep going. Anyway, <laughs> you know, Kanye's the biggest sex symbol ever, man. So, you know, it is what it is. But. You know, is I like the way he he handled the song. I like the way he rhymed on the song. It's a nice way to ride the beat and everything Fine. like that. Uh, All Minds came on, and for a minute, I, it it sounds like Kanye's version of dumbed down hip hop. Like you'll get one of these from Kanye on pretty much every album. Yep. So you know, for anybody to shock get a song like this, they shouldn't be shocked. I like the wordplay on there. Like keep get the rubbing on my lap, get the genie out the bottle. Like yeah. I thought that was you know dope little punchline. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was uh, Jeremiah that's doing that part. But it's apparently Belly. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure who she is. We, think it's, is. we think it's Jeremiah. Yeah, it sounds like Jeremiah. but Because uh, it sounds like that shit he did on that Suck Me to Sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does, actually. Uh, and, uh, you know, Todd Allen sounds on there as well. You know, this is one of the dope. Like, when the second verse came in, like, he kind of came in with that flow that made you kind of want to bounce. I thought that was dope. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't leave. I mean, it's it's heartfelt for him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a cool it's cool insight to you know something personal that right. happened. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's why some of the content on the album got changed, mm -hmm. partially because of that phone call he got from Kim. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, it's cool that he got a girl that's down for him. Can't knock him for that. Yeah. Uh, no mistakes. No mistakes came on, and this joint is dope. Mm -hmm. And man, like the music for this joint is beautiful. But Ghost Town probably my favorite joint on the project I would agree. like ghost town sounds beyond beautiful if if they're chasing the ghosts or ghosts of the kids or whatever they care how many kid cutty calling themselves sounds like that it's gonna sound beyond amazing yeah. you know what i'm saying the joint is beautiful and then violent crimes i thought it was you know kanye kind of tackling some real shit uh i could have did without the Nicki minaj talking conversation at the end it was 100 percent not needed yeah. um Oh, I also want to throw out the the 070 shake sounds beyond amazing on yes. that ghost town. Like yes. that is probably my favorite part of the song. Like it's one of those hip hop songs where it sounds like you in church and you know praising and shit because mm -hmm. like it just sounds beautiful. Yeah. You know, I'm not with all of the I've been trying everything I could to get you to, to care about me. You shouldn't be trying to impress everybody. Like that's that's something that you shouldn't do. Like yeah. on some real life shit. Yeah. Like fuck everybody. Except for the people that you fuck with. Like, stop trying to impress everybody. Because mm -hmm. it's not going to work. And yeah, in Violent Crimes, it's just I'm talking about some real shit. It's, it's like Kanye's version of Daughters that Nas did. Just with a, a kind of slower vibe. Yep. And I like what 070 Shake brought to the beginning of the song as well. Yep. But overall, man, uh, I'm not listening to this album ever again. Just because I, I don't want to support. You know what I'm saying? I listened to it enough this week. That was me listening to it, not listening to it again. Don't want to give money to somebody that kind of speaks the rhetoric that can kind of go against. I know normally I go ahead and separate the personal from the joint, like, you know, R. Kelly peeing on people and shit. Like, I separate that. You know, piss ain't as dangerous as motherfuckers lynching and, and you know, whipping people with slaves and shit like that. Okay. So I, it's hard for me to separate the individual person from the music in this case. So I'm not listening to this project again. I just want to make that clear. But I do think the music is amazing, man. So I want to say the music is 
damn near classic level on this album like the production quality but when it comes to the lyrics you're getting kind of standard kanye lyrics uh some rambling with some dope punchlines here and there not really addressing too much of anything because you know she said slavery or cho- I, they act told him build your own houseway you know i said you, you know it says slavery is a choice i said how yeah they said how yay yeah like he didn't really address it he just mentioned it so you yeah. knew it was recent mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and uh it, it is what it is man oh uh the no mistake the way he ended that verse like you know too too alone to spite you too bold to type like i, I like that flow the way he was riding it like that's more old Kanye style of shit. Gotcha. But overall, the lyric con- lyrical content on here isn't super impressive or anything like that. Kanye's not really bringing anything new to the table lyrically. Yeah. But musically, the shit sounds amazing. So I'm going to get this joint at A-. minus. I think the album is amazing. Wow. But I'm not listening to your shit again. Hmm. How you feel about it? A-. minus. Fine. That music is beautiful, bro. Hmm. And the yeah. lyrics and the lyrics aren't like detrimental. They're not horrible. They're just not. Mm, it's not, not amazing. It's it's not like you getting like, like uh fucking only player that got robbed and kept all his jewelry. Like you know what I'm saying? Like from it's, from diamonds or forever. Or you ain't getting like. To me, it's not even that. Like it's just not memorable enough. What like, the lyrics? I mean, the music the lyrics, is definitely the, the mir- music is. But just like when you get Kanye, usually. You get both. The lyrics are memorable along with the production. And in my opinion, there's nothing really memorable on this album other than Ghost Town. And maybe I thought about killing it. Because I thought that was a different way of opening an album, you know, real personal. Because we don't get to hear really personal side of Kanye that much. It's more to yeah, just... Yeah, we do. <laughs> talking about, like, more, like, when he's, like, angry. You don't really get to hear, like... I don't know. It was just a different side, I would say, of Kanye. I guess I can appreciate what he was trying to do, especially with now, you know, we know that he was diagnosed with a mental disorder at age Bipolar. 39 and everything like that. So it was a very appropriate to get that side of Kanye. But what really disappointed me about the whole album was the fact that we didn't get the album that I don't think we were intended to hear because he said that he changed the album after the encounter with TMZ, which I already guessed while listening to this album. I'm like, this is not the same album that he was, you know, going on about. And I'm like, you know, I kind of feel like he just pulled one on us. Like, okay, I don't want to take, you know, give that to him because it might piss him off even more or anything like that. And I ain't trying to say I was trying to bait him like, oh, I want you to piss me off. But I kind of wanted to hear what you might have had to say. What would have been so sensitive? But instead, we got a personal album about you, which is fine. But it was okay. Like, I thought about Killing You. Great. Great arrangement. Great production. Good lyrics. Um, No Mistakes. Really nice melody. Loved it. Ghost Town was just amazing everywhere. But Yikes, All Mine, Wouldn't Leave, and Violent Crimes, I was just like, okay. That's cool. But... It was just boring to me. It's still that classic Kanye production. But other than that, it didn't hook me as like his other projects did. So separating everything that Kanye has said or done in the past month or so, this is just okay average music to me. I give it a C plus. It was solid. My nigga. And it's just like, you know, taking all that away. I'm just like... If you're giving me seven songs, okay, I get, I get that you're doing the whole thing of completion, trying to give me something that's going to hit me right away. But at the same time, I feel like it just hit me and just went out the other year. That's, and I, that's never been the case for me with Kanye. That's just just how I feel. What um, Do you think this production was better than Daytona? The production on this? Yeah. Yeah. As, as a whole, yeah. I think so, too. Because uh, Daytona, like, it starts off amazing. Like, if you know, you know the beat is so amazing. Yeah. The way it, it transforms. I feel like we got raps. more variety on this one than we did Daytona. Yeah, I mean, even, like, with Leave, like, I just feel like he's kind of, like, it's missed thoughts. It's, he's misfiring thoughts, and he doesn't really complete the thoughts in the song. Agree. You know what I'm saying? The music sounds beautiful, though. The way that he's using Charlie Wilson mm-hmm. and Ty Dolla sound like... 
it, it sounds great. And I think another part of my frustration is I can't consider this an album either. Like, I know he's doing the seven track thing, but this just feels like an EP to me. I feel like I just listened to an EP. Like, okay, this is just. I hear you. Just a because, sample. like, I listened to it like two times on a ride to work. Yeah. And it, I mean, it's not even just about that. It's just like, this is, feels like a project getting you ready for another project. So I don't know if this is the intention or is this just another. Like, you know, he threw a whole party in Wyoming for these seven tracks. And it's just like. How long is that one time the album? 23 minutes and 41 seconds. I mean, it's better than Pablo. Yeah, I can agree with you. Because he, had a, think, lot, he had a lot I don't of throwaways on that. Pablo got seven good songs on it. Nah. So that, that's definitely Kanye's worst album. Yeah. No, hold on. It might be Jesus. I don't know. It might be Jesus. It's Yeezus. close. It's yeah, close. It's close. Nah, Jesus got some, some joints on there. So, so one more thing. Where does Kanye go from here, in your opinion? Cause my I, I don't, opinion is, I don't know, man. I feel like, cause I don't feel like he, he he preached free thought. I don't feel like I got a free thought album, man. Exactly. I really don't. I feel like I got somebody that was scared of, of the popular opinion. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he had enough people in his ear telling him like, "Yo, this is a bad idea." Right. To where he changed the whole album. Yeah. So, cause the Ti Hum song didn't come out, and the Ti and Hum song was another song that was incomplete thoughts. Yeah. Where you listen to it and he he's rapping and. He's got a couple cool punchlines here and there. Like, I just want him to complete his thoughts. Yeah. Like, no mistakes, Ghost Town, and, like, even Yikes. I feel like they were complete. Like, he didn't have to think too hard about what he was trying to say. He actually got out what he was trying to say. In, in all minds as well. Okay. It's, just, it's just wouldn't leave. It's like, I feel like he just wanted to say something to Kim in the song. I feel like, you know, we were speaking earlier. Don't rap no more, but produce. Yeah, yeah, because that be just the production, fine with that. the musical arrangement here yes. is beyond beautiful. Like, if you put this joint out, it's just an instrumental with the background sound effects it. and, the, and, the, and the and the hooks and stuff. Yeah, and the harmonies and all sound that. Oh yeah, amazing. Yeah, like you could use this shit as a soundtrack to like. And that's anything. not trying to diss like Kanye or anything like that. Not like just say, oh, we're tired of hearing Ye. Even though I do feel kind of like that, but it's just like his production is just amazing, and it's like. Maybe, on, on this project like because like, yeah. pablo's production wasn't yeah. amazing and it's just like to me it's just like maybe the that lane kanye needs to stay in is just you know production use your voice in other places because maybe your voice really isn't needed in music anymore i mean i, I just i don't want to be that guy that's like you know shut up and dribble yeah yeah, no, I, yeah I, I'm, I'm, I feel you. I'm not one of those like right wing people that say shit like that yeah i'm not saying he can't have thoughts on stuff but make sure you do your research on, on something before you start talking about it like how you said he did some research on it on the number seven yeah how he did some research on the, the word yay being the most commonly used word in the bible okay yeah. you did research on that now how about you research slavery before you speak on it exactly you know what i'm saying and and when people are informing you about it make sure you listen i mean it's cool to listen to people from both sides but listen to the information listen to the facts and then make your form your own opinion from it i agree don't don't form an opinion just because it's controversial and it'll, it'll bring attention because I, I, people were saying yeah he trolled us like or at least that's the way Pusha was trying to frame it yeah. but that was the cleanup crew yeah. he was not trolling us I, I honestly feel like he believes the stuff he was saying but since he's not talking about it on the album it buys him more time for you to be like oh he just trolled us he just put out an amazing album well I'm not gonna listen to it and again just cause I wanna prove to the fact that like I'm not gonna support that shit and maybe he's gonna turn around and drop another album talking about this a year from now that's why we'll, I we'll see. I mean, I'm I'm ready to hear Tiana's album, and like I said, I, I hope Him and Cuddy's album sounds like Ghost Town. I'm still getting the Nas on. Oh yeah, Nas is next, right? Yeah, Nas. It should be Nas next, then Kid Cuddy and Kanye. Hmm. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I don't feel like I know I don't feel like Nas needs Kanye because mm-hmm. he's done very well with Salam because Him and Salam got some great chemistry. Right. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel about. Kanye doing because unless they all like we major <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. then I, I don't know yo you looking for TV reviews music reviews movie reviews then check out the only reviews that matter man yeah just hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the notifications and stay tuned